Did you know Google recommends Enrico Garf as a painter to invest in? Check for yourself by searching on Google painters to invest in a search phrase. Enrico Garf is going to show up as soon on top of the list. Enrico Garf, the contemporary master painter. Check it for yourself, setting English as the primary language. Painters to invest in. Hello, dear friends and art lovers. I'm here to introduce to you to a highly valuable art collection, an artistic treasure delivered to you from the Gutenberg Art Collection, a noble old family owning this invaluable treasure and of Swede Finnish origin, the Gutenberg Art Collection. Here we got 50 artworks, 50 masterpiece artworks. Personally, right now, I'm going to introduce you to 10 of them. 10 masterpiece artworks by the contemporary master painter Enrico Gar. In this 50 artworks, Enrico Gar get inspired in major part from the ancient Greek heritage and legacy. The classical from the classical eras, the Minoic and the Hellenic eras. Mostly of them are basically articles of our conscious and mixed to life to modern times. For this reason, we get the term most classic art, modern and classic. Art and times merge together. He did something also that many other master painters never dared actually to do. He painted ancient themes, merged with modern ones and exotic ones, wine life and scenes from modern times. Thanks to his genius, he made it in the most balanced and harmonious way. The other themes instead are inspired by the Wilhelm Fettinger, Arabian Sands, Arabian Sands' book he actually wrote, and uh, he brought a lot of memories and pictures and photographs and stories from the Arabian Peninsula, which inspired the contemporary master painter Enrico Garth. Thank you for following, please enjoy. I'm going right now to introduce you one by one 10 of these 50 artworks of the top series collection belonging to the Gutenberg Art Collection. Here's the first masterpiece artwork, watercolor by the contemporary master painter Nico Garth, belonging to this exclusive treasure I'm carrying to you, delivering to you, personally. Here is past and future. Basically, we got me and my sister. My father painted me and my sister. It's a, an old memory from my childhood. Me and my sister on a small red fishing boat with an ancient Greek sculpture here in the background. Past and future. We are the future, and here, of course, the ancient Greek statue and sculpture is basically representing the old and ancient heritage of the Greek mythology and art. Here is a perfect example, as I mentioned before, concerning of how a master painter and Rico Gar merge perfectly together ancient to the ancient legacy of the Greek sculpture with exotic elements. Here we can see some uh, lion cubs in the background, a more in psyche here instead in front, in front of them. There's an incendiary red and yellow sky here and a blue river which is actually developing and transforming itself in a blue snake. Here instead, Enrico Garth revived 
the ancient legend of the Circe witch and Odysseus. According to the legend, Odysseus stranded with his fellow sailors and the companion of adventures on the beach not far from Rome in Italy and was rescued by the Circe witch, who transformed all of his fellows into pigs except for Odysseus himself. But Cersei which fell in love and bewitched Odysseus. For this reason I called it I called this painting the Mediterranean Cave. The cave where, according to a legend, Odysseus and the Cersei which met each other. This painting, this watercolor has been denominated the Awakening. It's always inspired by the ancient and uh, invaluable treasure heritage of a Greek culture, of an ancient Greek sculpture. The name of this painting is The Awakening, where you can see the set one, which symbolizes actually The Awakening. Here, Enrico Garth portrayed the essence of beauty, Venus. Venus in the mirror is the name of this work car painting. She is mirroring her beauty. Another example of how the master painter Rico Garth brought to life the ancient heritage of a Greek classical sculpture. Venus in the mirror by Enrico Garth. Here instead the master painter portrayed an ancient beauty. Greek youth is the name of this work car. The beauty, as you can see here, is a classical one from the ancient Greek heritage, classical heritage. This instead is not inspired by the Greek, ancient Greek sculpture and mythology. As you can see, there's a totally plain depicted here, totally different one. Enrico Gar painted two sailors, two Arabian sailors, this is inspired by Wilhelm Pettinger, as I mentioned before, two sailors, two fishermen. Here, in this masterpiece artwork, a watercolor one, the master painter Enrico Garth portrayed basically a transformation of a consciousness. For this, for this reason, I named it Reborn. You can basically notice that there's two consciousness here, one basically below and one a higher one above. So and this is basically a metamorphosis. Reborn by the contemporary master painter Enrico Gar. Always a classical sculpture involved. Got the title couple. Red statues inspired to the ancient Greek sculpture, classical sculpture. Here we got the essence of love. We have the title Love and Couple, portrayed by Rico Gar. The Red Warrior, an ancient Greek sculpture in front of an ancient Greek amphitheater in the background. Memory of Crete is Yammer is basically the subtitle of this painting. A red border. Here's memories of a past life. You can see here this is some kind of self-portrait called the uh, master painter Nico Garth uh, painted himself standing in this landscape. It's an exotic Australian landscape. Of course the rock here in the background is basically the Ares rock in Australia and we got an ancient Greek statue. This is what I mentioned before, a mix between like exotic uh, things and ancient Greek mythological things that together thanks to his genius. Great. Here we're all. I wish you enjoyed the vision of this 10 masterpiece artworks belonging to a wider collection 
and a range of 50 masterpiece artworks by the contemporary master painter Enrico Garza. Thank you for watching.